guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are stopping by for the first time you're highly welcome in today's video i'll be showing you how to do a very very constructive cv when you're looking for a job actually i've been using this cv for the past two to three years now because for the past two years i've been i've worked in over six different companies and this is the very format i've been using for my cv and it has been working for me but before going into details, please press the red subscription button below to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please turn on your post notification so you're going to receive notification every time I upload a new video. Um, this CV, this format, I have been using it, like I said, for the past two and a half year because in the past two years, I have worked in over six different companies. In, in Dubai, I worked in three companies, and in Bahrain, I worked in three companies. Reason being that the first company got closed, and then the second company, it wasn't favorable, like the terms and the condition wasn't matching up to what I wanted. And then the third company, which I'm currently working in, is actually the best choice. So, um, I'm going to be putting a picture of how my CV looks like. So you can choose to take the format. Actually, um, somebody commented on one of my videos and was requesting me to make a CV or how to make a good CV. Now, I'm not going to say this is the best, but I'm saying this is my best. It might not be your best, but this is my best because I have been using it and I have, from this very CV, I have been building other people's CVs from there. Like, I have some of my friends who come from Cameroon and they don't have CV. They don't know anything when it comes to making CV. You're new, of course. I didn't know, but I also learned it on the internet and then I was able to make out something. So I'm going to educate you, my fellow um, subscribers, how to do it. And trust me, it's the best for me. It has worked for me and definitely is going to work for you. You just need to follow the format and... When you're applying for a job, make sure you write a very constructive statement, you know, greet the person, you know, tell them the reason why you're writing them. Don't go and write hello and then you wait for the person to reply no. Write hi and then you tell them everything while you're applying for the job, your position, your name, your nationality, all those things you should first of all give a very constructive introduction into this to this person's chat. Then the person will see, okay, this is this person is actually looking for a job. You don't just go and write hi and you express more my like, yes, how may I help you? No, that's not the right way. You just you go straight to the point while looking for a job. But also, after sending this constructive statement, you're supposed to send down below your CV. And even if you're writing an email, most of the times when I send an email, the CV goes up and the message comes down. Although sometimes I type my message first and I'm hoping my CV comes down, but the reverse is true. The 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 CV comes up and then the message come down so in this video i'll be showing you my cv what i have been using for the past two years and that's been working for me and you can choose to use it and i'm also going to show you an app i use to make my CVs because i don't have a laptop to be typing so my phone is my everything if my phone gets bad today i lost practically everything i lost money i lost contact in fact everything so my phone is my computer my phone is my house my phone is my alarm my phone is practically everything i work with my phone in fact <laughs> god if there's this electricity in this bag i don't know what i'll do because my phone with my phone i'm able to do everything anyway let me not talk too much about the interview and everything i'm going to just put you a video or i'll show you a picture of how you should get you of how you should make a very very constructive cv so let's go so this is the best app i will be recommending for you to make your cvs it's the office this is exactly how it should look but whatever phone you're using hawaii samsung iphone this is the best i would recommend because i have been using it for years and it's been so efficient for me so this is what you should use for the app and the next thing is so this is how i make my cv the first thing is i'm going to be writing my position with a very bright beautiful picture by the side because you don't want to send a picture when you're looking like somebody who wants to go and fight Konku. you need to look bright and beautiful so i took this picture and this is how my face looks like so when you see this bright smile you know this girl is a funny type and a jovial person of course you want a jovial person at your job site and the next thing is your nationality next will be your phone number this is a number they can call you so you have to put a valid number which is um reachable and then you put your country of resident the next thing will be your email address because if they cannot get you by um phone number they can get you with your email so these two should be on your cv now you're going to be telling them your objective so my objective is i'm i'm applying for the position of a waitress 
And we move to the next. You'll be telling about your personal experiences or your professional experiences, the things you have been doing before. Like maybe you have been in the same field. For example, for me, I have done customer service. I've done teaching. I've done waitress. So I level them all down. And then we'll go to the next thing, which is the objectives for you to tell them you know what you want to do and now you have to tell them responsibilities of a waitress and the achievement make them to understand you know what you want to do you educate the person you're applying for to to the knowledge that you are aware about your responsibilities as a receptionist now this has to do with whatever job you're applying for for example me i was applying for the post of a receptionist so this is the duties of a receptionist i wrote down and then you will tell them about another position you had done before and a similar responsibility now we move to the next one which will be your key competence and achievement for example you can work under pressure you're a good customer service you know you have to write all these things to to attract the cost of the, the the employer more and then you move now to the educational level it's actually the last thing that you have to talk about so it's optional for you to tell them every all the certificates you have obtained for me i just wrote my ordinary and advanced level and then you go to the languages you can speak for me i can speak english and french and then next which is the last it's your interest and hobbit for example i like reading outdoor activities walking research and sport so this is how this is the format i use in making my cv as per my experience and as per my level this is how i make other people have their own way to make their curriculum vita, but this is how I make. And you can try it and tell me it might be beneficial to you just like it is to me. And one thing, I don't delete this particular CV because I use it over and over. I just need to edit, change the, the responsibilities on the job I'm searching for. For example, if I'm going for a waitress job, I will just change the responsibility and write the responsibilities of a waitress. Now I'm applying for a receptionist, so the, resp the responsibilities of a receptionist are listed there. And if you're applying for a cleaner, you just move. That's what you have to do. You just edit. You remove the position, you edit everything, so you don't need to delete it. Once you make one, you take your time and build a very good CV. You keep it in your phone. You can use it to make multiple CVs. So this is a very simple way you can do your CV. Anyways, I hope I educated you about making CV. Um, try it and give me down... In the comment section what you think about it i'll be seeing you guys again in my next video please don't go without subscribing if you haven't subscribed and please tell a friend to subscribe to nessus fantasy like my video share and comment i'll be seeing you guys again in my next video bye bye